You got it? Mm-hmm. Did you start it? No, of course not. No, <laughs> You'll start it in two years and then give a very timely review. <laughs>
Hello, you've made it to the haul portion of this vlog. Also, I have my Invisalign in and I normally don't when I'm recording videos. So if it sounds a little bit different, that's why. But yeah, I did want to share what I picked up while I was in New York City. And also I'm going to talk about two extra books because I picked them up like this past weekend, not in New York, but I still wanted to kind of share them because I don't know, I'm excited about them. While I was in New York, you saw that I went to UME Books. I went to Mercer Street super quickly. I didn't get to browse there too, too long. I also went to Centers for Fiction and Greenlight Books. I wanted to go to McNally Jackson so bad, but I just like did not have enough time next time. I will definitely try and go there. So I was mainly looking for two books. I wanted Sula and I wanted Too Much and Not the Mood and I was hoping to find them used. I didn't come across them used though. So yeah, I was looking for those two books only but suddenly I came across some other books and I figured I would pick them up. But let's just, let me just dive in. So I didn't buy anything at You and Me Books or Mercer Street Books but when I met up with Kat later on, we went to Sons for Fiction and Greenlight Books and and while at Centers for Fiction, I did pick up two books and also she brought me a book. So she brought me and so kindly gifted to me because she had an extra copy is Catalina by Carla Cornejo Villavicencio. I remember loving The Undocumented Americans. So I'm just so excited to read more from her. I honestly don't really know what it's about. So far, Kat has been reading it and she said that it's been really, really good and enjoyable. So I'm pumped to dive in and see what some of her fictional writing is like. I know in The Undocumented Americans there was like a little bit of magical realism sprinkled throughout each of the stories even though it was nonfiction, and I really loved it so very curious to see what her writing will be like in this. Hopefully I'll start it soon. I'm like not the best when I get arcs at reading them right away but this one is definitely high on my list to get to. And then while we were looking around the store, <laughs> we came across Acts of Desperation by Megan Nolan. And I feel like Kat has talked about this book so, so much and just like Megan Nolan in general. I have been wanting to read it. I didn't know if I was gonna get it from the library or if I wanted to like actually own it. But since I was in New York and since I was hanging out with Kat, I felt like that was just like a perfect time to buy this book very much oh what is that oh my god this is so cool i didn't even notice that i got this that's so neat it says you think your pain and your heartbreak are unprecedented in the history of the world but then you read that is so cool oh my god the back is so cute too i love that this is so cool okay well that's really cool i'm gonna save that but yeah i bought acts of desperation <laughs> with Kat and it felt only right to do that. Also, I didn't realize that Megan Nolan currently lives in New York, so I feel like this was the time to buy it. But all I really know is that it's about a girl and she's in a relationship and it's a very toxic relationship. It just feels like a book that will definitely get like a reaction out of me. I don't know how I'm gonna feel while I read it, but I have a copy now so I can finally get to it. And of course, while we were continuing to browse, we came across another Megan Nolan, Ordinary Human Failings. And I was like, no, 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 I already have one. I'm not even supposed to be like looking for this one necessarily. I had two books in mind and I can't also get another Megan Nolan. I haven't read any Megan Nolan. So I don't even know how I'll feel about it. We were kind of going back and forth on like, should I get Acts of Desperation or should I get Ordinary Human Failings? Because I know this one's more about like a family and I think maybe true crime. Okay, there is a crime that happens to a child so very different topics but I've just been wanting to read Acts of Desperation so bad and I just haven't gotten a copy for myself and for some reason in my brain I'm like I feel like I should start with Acts of Desperation and then Ordinary Human Failings I don't know if it's just because that's how it was published in my brain I'm like that's how I want to read it but then Kat opened it and it's a signed copy so yeah saw that it was signed and I was like, I feel like I need to own it. Also, like, I was with Kat, who loves Megan Nolan. I feel like it would have been so rude of me to just been like, no, I'm gonna put this back, the signed copy of, like, one of your favorite authors. So I picked it up. I could not leave it. This is such a, like, Kat-inspired purchase. It makes sense. I was with Kat. I had to buy both. So super excited. I really want to get to these soon. Maybe this will go on my summer TBR, and I'll give it a read then. That's, that's probably what I'll do. So those were the two books that I picked up 
while I was with Kat. Then the next day, I wanted to go to You and Me Books so bad. Again, I'd already gone, but there was a hat there that I just could not stop thinking about. I included it in the vlog and I'm so happy I went back. I have been wearing that hat all the time. It comes through for me on my dirty hair days. It makes whatever outfit I'm wearing so much cuter. So it was worth going back. During a really intense rainstorm like there was flood warnings but while i was there i also saw too much and not the mood which is one of the books that i've been wanting to buy i had taken it out from the library and i started reading like the very first page and this just feels like a book i'm going to want to underline so i wanted to buy a physical copy to own i did want to try and find it used but i've been trying and trying i've gone to a few different bookstores like before i went to new york and i just haven't come across it so when i saw it at you and me books it was just like on the front and i figured i wanted to support you and me books an indie bookstore i might as well just buy a new copy and i know jacob is also very interested in reading this one so i feel like it just made sense to buy a new copy this is one of the books that i was looking for so at least i got that um i still didn't find a copy of sula but i don't know i might look online to see if i can find it secondhand somewhere i still can't believe i don't own that book i've read it twice now and i want it i need to own a physical copy but yeah these are the books that i got while i was in new york this one was gifted and then got these two with cat i was definitely influenced and then i had to support you and me books but it's just so funny looking at this stack because like Three of these books are Kat's, like, some of her favorite books. So, <laughs> a very Kat-inspired haul while I was in New York. It's only fitting. But this past weekend, Liz came to visit, and they hung out with me and Ivana, and we brought Liz to a bunch of different indie bookstores around us. And the first bookstore we went to was Brookline Booksmith, and they have a used book section. And it's always so good. There's always so many good finds. I did have a bit more restraint. Normally when I leave that bookstore, I feel like I usually have a stack, but I left with just two. And the first book is You Exist Too Much by Zaina Arafat. And this is a Palestinian author. And Liz saw it and was like, have any of you read this? And I hadn't. I immediately snatched it up. Liz recommended it. And it's just one that I've been wanting to read. I honestly don't know what it's about. But I heard that it gets pretty messy and I am here for it. So really excited. I remember trying to get a copy of it from the library and I don't remember if the hold was really long or if I just didn't have enough time and had to return it. But glad that I own a physical copy now. So I also came across A Life of One's Own by Joanna Biggs and I initially had found this in the used book section so I immediately snatched it because it was $14 but then we went upstairs and there was like the extra books I don't the remainders that's what they're called and I saw that it was on sale for $8.99 so <laughs> I went back downstairs put the book down into the used book section and then came back upstairs and grabbed this copy. This is another book that is very much so inspired by Kat and it just sounded so good. It sounds like Joanna Biggs writes about each of these authors but also a little bit about her own life and I don't know if it's like her own life with writing. I'm assuming that's what it's about. I recently finished reading Sula by Toni Morrison and that just made me really want to pick this up and read a little bit more about what Joanna has to say about Morrison. I know she talks about Sylvia Plath, Elena Ferrante, who else? Simone de Beauvoir, Virginia Woolf, Zora Neale Hurston, and those are authors that I am very interested in. I've only read Morrison and one Ferrante, so those are the only two that I'm familiar with, but I really want to read Sylvia Plath and Virginia Woolf. I have some Virginia Woolf in my collection that I just haven't read. So I'm really excited that I got a copy of this. I think that it'll be really nice to underline and annotate. So that's why I wanted to have a physical copy in my collection. So these are my most recent finds and I'm really excited. I'm really happy. I think that I had a lot of restraint while I was in New York. Granted, I did get two books that were not on my list, but they are books that I've been wanting to read, so I'm just glad that they're in my collection now. But yeah, I know I didn't talk too too much in this video, so this was nice to just like sit down and just have a little chat, talk about what I picked up. I had such a good time in New York. It flew by. There was still so many places that I wanted to go eat and bookstores that I wanted to check out, so I'll definitely be back. I have to go to McNally Jackson. It is 
on the top of my list. The next time I'm there, I will definitely make sure to hit that one first. But yeah, that was it. I hope that you enjoyed the vlog. I'm hoping to do a bit more vlogging. I know in one of my videos, I think it was in my goals video, I said I didn't really have too much time to do vlogs, but I don't know, something about filming in New York, it got me so excited to do some more vlogging. And I think I'm just wanting to change it up a little bit from like sit down videos to maybe doing some more vlogs. I'll still do sit down videos, of course, but I think it would just be really nice to do some vlogs. They're not going to be super structured because that's just not, that's just not me. And I probably won't finish books whenever I do vlogs because that's also just not how I read. I read pretty slowly. So the vlogs will be a bit more laid back and I hope that that's all right. And I hope that that's something that you might enjoy. But yeah, that's it. That's all I have. I hope that you enjoyed the vlog and I hope that you also enjoyed this little haul portion and I hope you're doing all right. I will see you in my next video. Bye.